My respects to you. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lion. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Very well. That sounds amusing. Well, as for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. I can uh, cut off here earlier, but I have a sword. So, uh, I guess that does the job just as well as it's there. to find silver just sitting out but they lock up their torches. What are you doing here? Get lost.
here's pretty torn up. was very fast. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have okay. mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. 
Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Panosh is on my back about it and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Yeah, you were just the first to meet you with the whole cloud uh, horse thing. Oh, I mean, it hasn't been like now, so, uh, let's go with the water under the bridge. It will be the dick one second, and then I'll do it the next. I'm gonna shoot you in the back of the head, like, I was fucking dick to change me. Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. I don't know if um, that is, sir. Uh, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scallops and um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that. Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk Nothing first. To it. Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. I like both of those things. Coming up, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. 
I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, sir. Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow, and sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time, even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right in front of my eyes. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, that Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. Sir, wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Oh, heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. 
Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. <laughs> By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Right click with them, 
do that. I'm the fuck there. I'm not good at this.
I don't think you're not here, you're not here.
could have just ran after him and attacked him with his sword. How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. It's not bad, though. Quite good, actually, for a common blacksmith's boy. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well, then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. And now, come along. Let's go and hunt some real game. I feel quite good. I am up. Oh, but now I'm out.
See here, a wallow, and it's been freshly rooted. There'll be boar somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet, whatever you do. Understand? Or well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So... Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... After him! Fetch! Mount up, Henry! Chase down that swine! Nichak, Nichak, me booty fellow.
can I see? A bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> Now you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd crush your balls. <laughs> that wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse is bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. And the sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go then. I've had quite enough excitement already. It's Lord Capon! Get here, everybody! You, help him! How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I have urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you foul those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scarlet's. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? 
His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. I'm not the executioner. The Neuhoff stud farm's been raided. Oh, you're we don't sitting know much way. about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Get your arches mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. <laughs> Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me, keep quiet, and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzig sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of it. Now, mount up and ride behind us.
see if the door works again. Where's your master? In... in the paddock. Mr. Matson, what does he do? <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband... When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck! Someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way, don't go too far, and come back here when you're done.
What the hell? I feel How could anyone be so cruel? Smell. The stud farm owner. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes. But not this time. My husband went out. To see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices. And screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first. That something could have happened to Smill. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognise any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarrelled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. I don't know of anyone else. Hey, look out! Could anyone be so cruel? What the hell is that? Wait, I'm here. Cats are smart.
another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, good dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it, you useless prick. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular, huge, dressed all in black, voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. How could anyone be so cruel? Why did they have to... Hey! What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing.
Aha! This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Are you... are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... They deserve it. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then Smill. He shouted. And they murdered him. Did they take anything? No. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. 
Now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. What? <laughs> Such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. They're part of the horses. Not a sign of where they went.
They went deeper and deeper, for sure. I definitely hit move the horse at this time. 
Why did it all go on the ground? and dead. There's at least one more bandit there. During the uh, trouble I had with the first one. I'll just... I didn't block it a single shot. Even the ones I saw coming.
audio anymore. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. Do you know who this belongs to? It's a hoofpick I found on one of the dead bandits. How should I know? Go and ask at the stables. Do you know anything about this hoofpick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well. That's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. 
You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. Well, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Thank you. 